the first day of school, we are going to introduce ourselves. We have a new student, Emily. Emily, would you like to come up at the front? Okay. And I'm gonna say my favorite shirt. My favorite shirt is the one that I'm wearing. Okay, that was so good, Philip. Um, Freya, you're next. Okay, I'm coming. Hi, my name is Freya, and I'm gonna say my favorite um. My favorite picture is a picture with me and my whole family. Thank you. Freya, next is George. Hi, my name is George, and I did something in the summer. I had rainbow pop popsicles in the summer. Mm, that sounds delicious, George. Next is Denise. <laughs> Settle down class. Um, Denise, would you really like to eat? Okay, I'm sorry. I like to eat tacos. Thank you, Denise. That was better. I'm going to sit down now and read you a story. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to read you this story now, and I will show you the pictures, okay? Okay. This story is called Cinderella. Most stepmothers are lovely, but oh dear, Cinderella certainly wasn't. From morning till night, Cinderella had to cook and clean. She even had to look after her horrible stepsisters. Okay, here are the pictures. And there's Cinderella. Every day, her stepmother would screech, Hurry up, you wretched girl! I want my lunch now! At night, Cinderella had to sleep on the floor beside the fire with the cinders and the ashes. Here are the pictures. That's not very nice. at their house. His Royal Highness Prince Charming invites the ladies of the house to his royal ball. Of course, Cinderella can't go, sneered her stepmother. She's just a servant. On the night of the ball, Cinderella was crying in the kitchen. I want to go to the ball too. <laughs> she wept. And so you shall musical voice. Don't be afraid. I am your fairy godmother. And here are the pictures. <gasps> really? Truly? You have my fairy promise, said her godmother. But first, I need a pumpkin. Cinderella ran to the garden and picked up the biggest pumpkin she could find. The fairy tapped it with her wand. The pumpkin rolled up, growing bigger and rounder. Then, bang! 
a golden coach to whisk you to the ball. Then six white mice turned into six proud horses, tossing their silky manes. A fat rat turned into the coachman, and six lizards were transformed into green footmen, dressed in glittering green. Last of all came a golden yellow ball gown and a pair of sparkling glass slippers. Just remember, said her godmother, you must leave before the clock strikes midnight. Then my magic will start to fade. At the palace, Cinderella swept into a splendid ballroom. Will you dance with me? asked the prince. As they twirled and spun, a whisper followed them around the room. Who is that beautiful girl? Is she a princess? asked Cinderella's stepsister. I'm sure the prince would much rather dance with me. Ever, thought Cinderella, but all too soon the clock struck midnight. She dashed from the palace, her dress turned back into rags. Her carriage was a pumpkin, her coachman was a rat. The prince raced after her. All that was left was a glass slipper sparkling on the steps. Cinderella ran home. She kept her adventure a secret. That night she slept with a smile on her face. The prince longed to find the mystery girl who danced with him. He took the glass slipper and looked everywhere for her. At last he came to Cinderella's house. It will fit me, screeched her stepsisters. They squeezed and squashed and squirmed, then screamed. No matter what they did, they couldn't get the shoe to fit. And here are the pictures. Where's the slip on? Oh, it's right here. Do you see it there? Yeah, I can see the shape. May I try it on? Asked Cinderella quietly. No! Snapped her stepmother. But it was too late. Cinderella had put on the shoe, and it was a perfect fit. The room sparkled with stars. Cinderella's ragged clothes turned into gold. She was dressed in her ball gown once more. Her stepmother looked on, horrified. At last, cried the prince, I found you. How did that happen? It was magic. So if the shoe um, doesn't fail, doesn't go back to her normal shoes, then when she puts it on, it becomes magic? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's keep reading the story. One year later, they were married, and everyone came to the wedding. Cinderella had such a kind heart, she forgave her family, and she and the prince lived happily ever after. And here are the pictures.